as I talked to you the other day and said that go ahead and close your Chromebooks so you're paying attention. Okay. As I talked to you the other day and said, talked about these pH calculations, they I don't feel like they are terribly tough, but as I said, people struggle with them. What you need to do is you need to memorize the main players, okay? The main equations, and the first one up here is in red. So if you don't have this in your notes somewhere, you need to have it. The pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. The negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. The second equation that you need is the pOH. Okay, we typically talk about pH and talk about the pH scale 1 through 14. But we also have the pOH. So the pOH is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. If you have either one, the pH or the pOH, you can calculate the other by taking 14 minus whatever you have. So if I have a pH of 7, which is neutral, if I have a pH of 7, then the pOH would be 7. A strong acid will have a pH of, let's say, around 2. So if I have a pH of 2, the pOH would be 12. Here is another important equation because the ion product constant of water, the Kw, is assigned a value of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. So Kw is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So if you substitute that in right here, up here, and you have one of these values, you can calculate the other value. I think these are just going into, oh, here's another one. Here's another one, the anti-log. The anti-log of the negative pH is equal to the hydrogen ion concentration. We'll talk about that sig fig one here in a bit. Oh, let's go ahead and talk about it now, all right? Let's look at significant figures. Uh, significant figures are different with pHs because this is a logarithmic scale. pH is a logarithmic scale. So, in a logarithmic scale, you count the number of figures after the decimal point. So if I have a pH of 7.27, .27, the significant digits are 2, because that's how many numbers are after the decimal point. So anytime you are giving a pH or a pOH, you count the numbers after the decimal point. Now, this number right here, Hydrogen ion, you could have a hydrogen ion concentration of 2.11 times 10 to the negative 14th. That is not logarithmic. Okay, that is not logarithmic, so that is just the normal way 
that we would do significant figures. So that would be three sig figs. Believe you me, those get mixed up all the time. All right, if you have a pH or a pOH, count the numbers after the decimal. If not, it is just normal. All right, so if you look at this right here, if I take the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, which is an equation that I just gave you, that we just talked about. So pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. Well, here's the hydrogen ion concentration. Go ahead and take out your calculators. Okay, go ahead and take out your calculators because this is an art of using your calculator once again. Okay, find the log button, which should be right by your seven. Okay, now what I want you to do is type in the negative log of 2.11 times 10 to the 14th. And execute that to see if you get this number. Okay, if you do not get this number, then you are doing it wrong. Okay, remember, remember how I told you to do the 2.11 e to the negative 14. <clears throat> if you cannot get this number of 13.6. 757 seven, blah 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 raise your hand now look at that number that number the 13.6757154 that is a pH which is a logarithmic number so when I look at my sig figs in my problem which is right here this is not a logarithmic number so that is three sig figs. So when I look over here and determine my three sig figs with a pH number, I take three after the decimal point. So that one and the three don't mean anything. Well, they mean something, but not sig fig wise. So my sig fig wise is the six is the first, the seven is the second, and the five is the third. Does that seven behind the five round it up? Yes. So with three sig figs, my correct value for this will be 13.676. Down at the bottom, the red ones are the only digits that are significant for that logarithm. Okay. That is maybe half the problem with dealing with these type of problems. Okay. Now, you've already done that. Let me exit out of that. Let me get to this. This is what we just talked about. I had said to go over that. Now, here is our very first problem we're going to work. Now, given that one problem there, I can figure out everything else. Okay? I can figure out everything else based on that value right there. Now, if I am looking at finding the H plus, find your equation that is dealing with H plus. Okay, find the equation that's dealing with H plus. Let me get my ass in some faces. Okay, what is H plus? H plus is equal to what? H plus is equal to what? Anyone, anyone? The, the anti log of the negative pH, correct? 
Now, we know the pH, don't we? We know the pH. So it's the anti-log of negative 1.55. Correct? Now let me ask you this. How many sig figs do I have? Two. Why two? This is a logarithm right here. So it's after the decimal. I have two sig figs. Now, the big part of this, and this is why I don't think this is that tough. We know the equation. Okay? Now I just need to know what buttons to hit. Look at your calculator. On your calculator, find, and it's usually the second function of the log button. It says 10x. That is your anti-log button. All right? That's the anti-log button. So if you hit that button and then type in negative 1.55, what do you get? Okay, you get, you could get this, okay, you could get, what is it, zero, because I've got mine in scientific notation, one, two, eight, is that the number you get, or did, did they put it in scientific notation? Let me do it. Let me do it. Where's my button? One less zero. You're right. So it's zero to eight with two sig figs, right? Now, look at the next one. P-O-H. Now, to do that, what equation am I going to use? 14 minus the pH, right? So, 14 minus 1.55 is going to give me a pOH of what? 12.45. Does that have two sig figs? Yes. Only after the decimal for a pH or a pOH. Now, how am I going to find this last one? Okay, how am I going to find this last one? Well, I could do it one of two ways. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to say that Kw equals hydrogen ion times hydroxide ion. Can I solve for OH minus? Yeah, I take the KW, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, and I divide by the hydrogen ion concentration. Right there. Okay, so I take 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, and I divide it by the 2.82 or 81 jobby here and I get a value for my POH of 3.5 times 10 to the negative 13th. Now let me ask you that. This, how many sig figs in that number right there? 3.5 times 10 to the negative 13th. How many sig figs? Two. Okay? Two. The three is significant, so is the five. So if you're asking me, I think sig figs are the toughest part of this. Because people get them so confused. All right? Now... 
Here's my next example. I give you something different, but it doesn't matter. I can still calculate everything the same. I just have to know what equations to use. First of all, let's determine how many significant figures I have with this number. That is three significant figures, because that is not logarithmic. So everything I have has to have three significant figures. How am I going to get the pH? The pH is equal to what? The negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So in your calculator, Hit the minus sign, hit the log button, and type in 7.67 e to the negative fifth, and then come up with a value of, my value of 4.11520. And some more numbers. Now, once again, we said how many sig figs? How many sig figs did we just say this has? Three. So, this is a logarithmic number. So, I need to go one, two, three after the decimal point. Does that two round the five up? No. So my correct sig figs for this is 4.115. How do I get POH? 14 minus that number I just calculated, right? So this is going to give me 9.15. 8.85 for my POH. How can I get the hydrogen, or excuse me, the hydroxide ion concentration? 1 times 10 to the 14th. Divide at 10 to the negative 14th, I'm sorry. Divided by what? Divided by what? The hydroxide, excuse me, the hydrogen ion concentration. So that's divided by the 7.67 times 10 to the negative fifth. How many sig figs? Three, and it does count before the decimal, doesn't it? So I get a value of 1.30 times 10 to the negative tenth for my value of POH. Okay. Questions on this one? All right, now what I would like you to do, you tell me, do we want to work another one or do you want to try this on your own? So I have a POH value. What am I going to do first? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my pH. How do I find my pH? I take 14 minus the POH. 14 minus 9.7389 gives me a value of 4.2611. How many sig figs do I have here? How many sig figs do I have here? Four. Okay. Are these logarithmic? Yes, pH and pOH are logarithms. I have four sig figs. 
Now, how am I going to get the hydrogen ion concentration? Well, the hydrogen ion concentration is the anti-log of the negative pH. So, how do I do the anti-log? It is the 10 to the X button. So I hit my 10 to the X button, and I type in negative 4.2611, and I get a value of... I get a value of 5.4815073434 times 10 to the negative 5. Would you agree with that? I don't have the correct amount of sig figs, but is that the value your calculator should have spit out for you? Yes. Now, I go back and I say, okay, how many sig figs do I need? Four. I know that. Does the one in front of the decimal count on this one? Yes. So I go one, two, three, four. Does that five round that one up? Yes, it does. This is not the even rule because there's numbers after the five. So that's going to round that up to 5.482 times 10 to the negative fifth. So let me clean that up. Times 10 to the negative fifth. Now my final one. How do I calculate the pOH? I use my kW value. kW equals Hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration. So I take 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, and I divide by that the hydrogen ion concentration, which I just calculated, that 5.482 bit, and I come up with a value of 1.8. 4 times 10 to the 10th, negative 10th. Did you do it right? Did you get them? That's, folks, that's as tough as it gets with this. Okay? That's as tough as it gets.